ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਇਨ ਅ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਦੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੋ ਅਮ just a recap um every tuesday um now at 7:30 uh, 7:35 uh 7:30 um we've started a series where um following on from something that goes on locally we go through the writings of bai gurudas ji so bai gurudas ji um just a recap again they were the uh, nephew of the third guru the cousin of uh, bibi bani ji the wife of the fourth guru um and they were the mamma ji the uncle of uh of the fifth guru guru arjan dev ji and when guru arjan dev ji uh wrote guru granth sahib ji i spoke the gurbani of guru granth sahib ji all of the five gurus up until that point it was by gurdas ji that actually wrote in terms of like physically wrote or were the scribe um to transcribe what guru sahib was saying what the bhagats were saying um onto uh onto the angs Uh, of guru granth sahib ji into guru granth sahib ji that we see today or at that at that time <clears throat> and by gurudas ji have their own writings which are given the title of uh, being the key to gurbani so the key to understanding gurbani the gurbani the kunji uh, the key to understanding guru granth sahib ji and so where things in guru granth sahib ji uh, we might not understand examples that are given of things we see in nature of certain materials of people that are mentioned in guru granth sahib ji and you know in gurbani they're not you know guru sahib don't stop and explain you every what every single thing is in a pankti or every single reference every single contextual point in guru in bai gurudas ji's writings they do explain uh, who somebody was what this thing is what guru sahib mean by comparing this to that um all of these different concepts um all of the different faiths that are mentioned in guru granth sahib that's one chapter and all of these are are sectioned into different different chapters different vara and uh, collectively they make 40 vara um so there are 40 chapters of bai gurudas ji's writings um therefore they're called bai gurudas ji diya vara and we had um we'd got to the 10th var and we started the 10th var online i think um, on the mas uh, mata sahib god educational trust uh youtube i think the the, the previous weeks uh, recordings were on there on the week 3 body number 3 in this uh chapter number 10 where bai gurudas ji go through various um historical figures um that are mentioned in guru granth sahib ji so where we read guru granth sahib ji we hear these names we hear the name thru we hear the name prahlad we hear the name dropadi we hear the name janak we hear the name uh today uh, bal raja uh, the king um bal uh, we hear all these names but we don't have a clue who was this person is this person good bad um what did they do what did they not do um what qualities did they have did they not have um here by guru dachi go through all of those to give us the context behind um who those people who those figures were and so we'll, we'll jump straight into it so last to last week we started with bhagat prahlad ji uh, sorry bhagat thru and then last week we had bhagat prahlad ji this week we have the grandson um of bhagat prahlad ji uh, so bhagat prahlad ji was a king his father was a king and this lineage of kings carries on um, and it comes to a raja called bal raja okay and bai gurudas ji um describe we we'll, we'll go straight into it and um, it'll make more sense so bai guru ji bal raja ghar apne andar baitha jag karave so bal raja the king who called bal kar apne within his house being a king within his palace um andar baitha jag karave so whilst in his um in his sort of row uh confines in his um palaces um what he would do is he would uh, perform different yag or sometimes we refer to them as jag and these are basically sacrificial fires where um it traditionally in india you would offer things to the gods the goddesses through a, a sacrificial fire there's the various different types of yags which we won't go into but um horses are, are sacrificed snakes are sacrificed sometimes people are sometimes kings are sacrificed and 
in this way, in these way, so this is a positive thing um, seen in their faith, you know, that by offering things to the uh, gods and goddesses, your um, your you know, like if you're a king, your kingdom or your um, your rule will continue to be successful. Um, if you know in any sort of walk of life, you'll be successful. You'll gain the blessings of whichever god or goddess you're um, worshiping. And so. Uh, Balaraja would do these yags, these sacrificial um, sort of offerings uh, to the uh, gods and goddesses, and he had done uh, ninety-nine. So he'd got to ninety-nine yags, and what happens is when you do, and obviously there's like a certain um, there's certain rules and regulations to these, and so to a complete one, you know, you have to have a certain amount of things offered. There's, there's, you know, like for example, like we would do an akhand parsaib. And there's certain things you have to have, certain things you have to do. Um, in the same way, they have rules and regulations for their for their yugs. And in this way, he had completed them all correctly, as per as as per their sort of scriptures. Um, and he had got to ninety nine yugs, so he had done, he had completed ninety nine of them. And basically, when you complete a hundred, you are granted the uh, kingdom of the heavens, essentially, where the gods reside. You know, in the Raja, uh, so Indra Raja is the is the um, Indra Devta is the king of all of the gods, um, and to get that status, you have to do a hundred yags, and so Indra Devta, who was the king of the gods, became uh, threatened that this you know Bhagat, uh, obviously he was a Bhagat in this sense, he was worshiping his gods and goddesses, he had done ninety nine of these um, of these sacrificial um, offering worships, and when he does his uh, hundredth. He will have my throne essentially. He'll be the king of the of the gods. And what he did is he did an ardas to his um, idol, which was Vishnu. And he said to Vishnu, Vishnu, please save my um, my reign as the king of the gods. And Vishnu obviously ended up as a bhagat himself as well. They um, accepted his ardas, and what they did was they manifested themselves as a form of um, as 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 a form uh, an incarnation. Sorry. Um, in this world called Bhavan Avtar. So an Avtar means an incarnation. Bhavan um, will explain why he was uh, called Bhavan. Um, Bhavan means 52, uh, like we would say Bhavanja. And so they manifested themselves in this world to stop Raja Bal, who also at this point had become fixated on not just performing these sacrifices, these worships for, you know, out of the goodness or out of the devotion towards his gods and goddesses that, that he, he worshipped but more out of the fact that you know more he had he'd obviously become egotistic the fact that he had performed 99 and he also had the desire to or the um you could say the uh the greed to become the king of the realm of the gods and goddesses and sit on the throne of Indra. and so vaiguru um or you know as they were referred to vishnu um as the form of a Bhavan Avtar. So Bhavan Avtar was a Brahman and he was um, short. So he they they say he was um, 52. So that's why he's called Bhavan, Bhavanja. 52 fingers tall. So if you put your fingers sort of on like this, that's how sort of tall he was essentially. Um, basically he was short to, to, to get to the point. So he's Bhavan Avtar, he's a Brahman. Um, Vishnu appears in the, in the world as this form of Bhavan Avtar. And what does he do? He goes and he visits the kingdom of Balraja. And we'll, we'll carry on with Bhai Gurdasji here. Bhavan Rupi Aya Char Ved Mukh Paat Sunava. As the so Rup means form, as the form of Bhavan, uh, of Bhavan of Dada, this Brahman, uh, Aya, Vaiguru, um, in, in, or Vishnu, in the form of this, this uh, Brahman, came to the, the world. Char Ved and the four Veds, the four original uh, scriptures of the. Um, Ancient scriptures of, of India, uh, muk from their mouth, part sunave. They um, off by heart. They uh, spoke all of these uh, scriptures to the king. So they appeared. Um, they spoke all these scriptures to the king in their in their palace. Obviously, a Brahman is sort of revered in um, in India by um, all other you know castes or social levels. And when he appeared in Balaraja's kingdom. He welcomed welcomed him into the palace, sat him on a sort of they say he sat him on a, a sandalwood throne um, or plinth, and he read the Vedas off by heart, the four Vedas, which, which is not is not a small thing. Um, 
and then carrying on raje andar sadya what did the king do andar sadya you know they call him inside so they said come into the palace and sit and then sorry that's where they you know sat with somebody with a complete respect after hearing them recite the four vedas off by heart um mang swami jo tod pav so they said swami my master they showed the respect the humility in front of the um of the of the brahman that was vai guru's uh, incarnation they uh, so this is the eighth incarnation of vishnu so there's 24 all together last week we heard about narsingh which was the seventh and this is the one the one straight after uh, mang swami my master ask mang um jo tod pav uh, for that thing that would uh, please you so ask for what you uh, what you want obviously in their faith giving to a brahman <clears throat> is seen as the highest sort of level of gift uh, gifting something to you a person of god um you know you that person who's giving gifting that receives back um you know um, that that um, benefit multiplied and so they asked bhavan avatar uh, the brahman you know ask for what you want i'm willing to, to give it to you then so in their court was somebody called uh, shukracharya shukracharya was the guru of the demons uh, but he was a a guru you could say and ashal shalan tod aaya and sukur purohit keh samjhave what did sukur or shukracharya say purohit he was a um, uh, a pandit or brahman himself as in he was a scholar himself he was a learned person he was a, a brahman keh samjhave he understood that this is a form of vai guru um through his intuition he realized you know he didn't have that veil of uh, ego over him like balraja did balraja is sort of um egotistical that you know I've, i'm a king i've done 99 uh, yags whatever this brahman comes to us for i can give it to him i have that power within my my, my hands ashal shalan to the aya that vai guru who is a shal shal means to uh, deceive so that vai guru who is a shal who is free from or he is uh, cannot be what you take from the era a chal is uh, void of deceit so we can't deceive that vai guru um we can't we can't do anything that vai guru can't see uh, can't understand that vai guru's intellect is beyond us that vai guru that cannot be deceived has come to deceive you ashal that vai guru that cannot be deceived shalan tod aaya has come to deceive tod um, you but um bal raja didn't listen to him um he said you know ask for what you want i'm willing to give it um karo atai tarat mang and what did uh, bavan remember he's a small person he is very short very small small everything small feet small hands he asked for two and a half steps worth of space in balraja's kingdom to reside so he said give me two and a half steps of um two and a half foot you could say two and a half foot or two and a half paces of space for me to live that's what i want i just want a little a little, a little bit of space to live within your kingdom karo atai atai mean two and a half tarat mang this uh, earth tarat this earth this much earth uh, i wish or this much land i wish to um live within your kingdom picho de treho lo na mave bal raja said yeah i'll um, gift you this and as soon as he said yes what did um, bavan avatar do remember it is vai guru's form he increased his form um where vai guru das described picho then what happened de his body treho lo so the three lo the thin uh, the three worlds so um this basically means the whole world um but in different faiths there are different uh, worlds that are described you know in, in the uh, in, in sort of traditional indian faiths you have like the three you have like um underground patal you have uh, tarati the the ground and then you have akash uh, mat patal and akash the earth the ground uh, sorry the skies the ground and underground um so those three worlds meaning the whole world um treho loa na mave the whole world was not big enough to contain the form of bhavan avatar so um even the akash even the sky was was not tall enough to um to to give enough space for that that bhavan avatar's form basically saying he increased his form so much that no one had seen a, a form that big an infinitely large form and then what what did bhavan avatar do took his two and a half steps so doe karwa kar tin lo so in two steps so it took one step and then another step that bhavan avatar that brahman 
Vaigurus avatar covered all of the earth in two steps. Val Raja le magar menave. And then when he was to put his, um, remember he said two and a half steps. He sort of just sort of said it. When they'd taken two steps, they covered all of the world. Then when they were going to take the half step that was remaining, Bal Raja lied down. He lay down, um, sort of um, face forward, and he let Bhavanavatar place his uh, half step um, on his bit, on his back. And in that way, um, that was the sort of the two and a half steps, the sort of quantifying of the land that was given, the space that was given to Bal Raja. Bal Shala Ab Shalayan, after seeing this um, this great act from Bal Raja, um, that you know he had promised and he'd, he'd fulfilled his promise to Bai Guru, uh, he'd, his Vishnu, he would come to test him as well because he become egotistical become, because he had um, the the reason he had done his devotional worship. Remember, he did it ninety nine times. He did his yag, but now the ego started to creep in and he the desire started to creep in that I want the kingdom of of Inder. I want to, I want that uh, that status or that recognition. Maybe that, that's what we could sort of focus on. After after Vaigur has Shalayan uh, tricked uh, Balaraja, they then hoi dayal, they become merciful, and mila gal lave, they took Balaraja and they gal lave, they um, they hugged um, Balaraja, and they said, uh, after seeing you did this act that you fulfilled your promise, you know everything I asked for, you fulfilled even this ask which was beyond anybody's capacity, you even accepted and. Um, you gave me my two and a half steps of land, the whole world essentially, because that was his, was his kingdom. Um, ask for what you want to ask for. And what they did was they, uh, what Balaraja asked for was that whatever you give me, I don't mind whatever I, I get, but as long as you remain with me, because they realized at this point that this is Vaiguru's form, this Bhavan of Thai, it's not just a Brahman, this is Vaiguru come to test me, to test and uh, to show me that uh, I've slipped into the, um, the grasps of ego. This is Vaiguru uh, who's, who's come to the earth to, to give, teach me a lesson. At this point, they realize this is Vaiguru and they just said that Vaiguru, as long as you remain with me, uh, anything else, you know, does anything else, whatever else doesn't matter. And then, what did uh, Bhavan Avtar or Vishnu in that form uh, bless them with? Ditta Raj Patalda. They gifted him with the uh, kingdom of the, the uh, nether uh, land, so uh, the, um, the, la the underground kingdom. So, like the, the in the traditional sort of Hindu. Um, classifying of the world they, There's three levels that we're saying Underground, the ground and the skies The underground bit they gave him the kingdom uh, That kingdom um, And the rule of that kingdom Hoi adin pagat jas gave And then he became Yeah so he stayed Within his within the uh, hukum Within the order of Vaigru In that realm um, he, yeah. uh, But then also uh, Vaiguru Adin, meaning um, in the order of, in the you know, fulfilling the orders of or the request of um, Balaraja that you remain with me, Vaiguru, wherever you send me. Hoi Adin Pagat, so becoming be, coming under the control of their Pagat, who had um, completed the devotional worship, had done so much devotional worship of Vaiguru. Vaiguru then felt, uh, felt that they needed to fulfill um, the request of their Pagat, of their devotee, Jas uh, Gave, and they uh, praised. And just means a praise, Gaba means to sing. They sang the praises of Balaraja and Hoy Darwan Maha Sukhpave, becoming the gatekeeper of his kingdom. Um, so they say that Brahma, Mahesh, and Vishnu, um, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shivji, the three, uh, so the, the Trimurti, they uh, take it in turns to guard his uh, kingdom. So four months at a time of the year. Um, they come and they guard, they stand uh, guard to his kingdom. As in, they don't leave, they, de they didn't leave his uh, side just like he'd requested. Um, Maha Sukhpava, and, uh, um, and due to this, Balaraja attained a great a great bliss. Maha means great, Sukh means bliss. Um, and so, you might be listening to this story thinking, right, that's a lot to sort of take in. The points are that, if you look at um, Balaraja, look at how much penance, how much uh, devotional worship he had done, even then, ego crept in. And what happened? Vaiguru then uh, tested um, Balaraja. And he, fair, to be fair to him, passed that test in the sense he um, fulfilled whatever Vaiguru wanted of. So what we should take from all, from this fact is that one, we should not fall into being egotistical about 
let's say we've been a guru sikh for 10 years 10 months however long start counting that and thinking you know i've i've done this that the other i've done however many sage parts i've done this i've done this santhya that um seva i do this i do that we shouldn't start counting that at any point remember he did 99 of these uh, devotional worships which are like a big event a big thing um, we shouldn't become egotistical um, we see that no matter how much bhagati he had done he didn't even recognize god so he's in all of this bhagati but when god appeared he couldn't recognize god the one who could was shukracharya um, so one we should um, not think oh i've done this much bhagati i know what guru sahib um, want, want i know what uh, guru sahib are saying I am the one that understands this, nobody else does Because we don't know who is really connected to Vaiguru Even though our experience, our knowledge might tell us that yeah, We are ahead of X, Y and Z Really, we, we don't know um, And also, uh, we should see, we should learn that Look at when, he, he, uh, how Vaiguru is um, Not under the control, like not to take it in that way But look at how Vaiguru um succumb to the um, requests the wishes of their bhagat who's done so much devotional worship of them they um, will fulfill whatever request that bhagat then um, asks from them so um, remember the, the, this whole um, bani the whole writings of uh, Bhai Guru Das Ji are to explain or to make something simpler uh, that something that comes up in Guru Granth Sahib is simpler and in this chapter it's characters or you know figures in history so if we look at um, Guru Gobind Singh Ji's writings uh, we see them reference uh, Balaraja. So I'm just going to go through a few references and then finish. So after Narasingh Avtar, which we talked about last week, uh, remember this was his granddad was Bhagat Prahlaji, who was saved by the form, the previous form of Vishnu, uh, Narasingh. Munarapum so paap bardeo aparang. The uh, paap, the sins on this earth, on this boom, bardeo uh, start to increase aparang uh, without. Um, uh, infinite, uh, uh, uncontrollably, so without, um, yeah, infinitely. Karelag jagang ponarade tab danang balraj ki deh badhu gomanang. King, uh, so the balraja, the king gomanang, he attained man, a pride which is go go a negative man, a negative sense of pride. Okay, um, and if we so Guru Gobind Singh also refer to the request of Balra of uh, Bhavan Avatar. Uh, give me give a tie two and a half pav feet boom uh, land there give okay so this was a request um, and then also if we look at guru Granth Sahib Ji, so that was guru Gobind Singh's writings guru Granth Sahib Ji, where they talk about um how why guru is the one that so, uh, Koi Jan, so this is the Rahau, the, the sort of uh, mm, summary of this Shabbat. Koi Jan and Apulla Pai, so nobody um, willingly or um, knowingly, having all of the knowledge uh, of Vaiguru, uh, makes a mistake. It is Vaiguru that causes us to make mistakes. Vaiguru is does in the right of all of our destinies, whether we do something wrong, right, or whether we do something positive, or whether we make a mistake. So Apulla just Apulai, we. Um, only that person makes a mistake who Vaiguru makes uh, make a mistake. Bhuja uh, Bujai, and only that person can realize Vaiguru who Vaiguru allows to. And then they give a list. Then Hari Chand Prithmi Pat Raja. So they talk about Hari Chand. Uh, and then they talk about um, Bal Raja. Karo Atai Tarti Mangi. So this is Guru Granth Sahib. This is Ang number 1344. So 1344. Karo Atai Tarti Mangi. Bhavan Rup so for this, you know, um, in an excuse in in this way, Bhavan um, in the form of the form of Vaigur in the form of of Bhavan of Dar, um, made an excuse to ask for this land to live within. Kyo payal jaye ke on shaliye je balru pashanne. Balraja wouldn't have had to go into the um, underground and become the king of the underground. Everything that happened to him wouldn't have to have had to have happened if je balru pashanne. If Balraja had understood that this is Vaigur. So maybe we should see everybody as Vaheguru um, and in that way we won't then be tricked out of our sort of spiritual wealth. So where somebody, for example, um, comes into the Gurudwara Sahib asking for Langar Prashadda and we sort of um, shrug them off because we think, oh, it's just whoever. Um, we don't want to be caught out because that, that is still Vaheguru's form. 
uh, just like uh, that Bhavan avatar, a small, short Brahman was uh, really was Vishnu's avatar, an incarnation of, of Vishnu. So that's uh, that's what we should take from this um, this week. There was another Shabad as well. Uh, yeah, I think that was that was that was all. There was another Shabad. I can't remember which one it was. Mm. Yeah. So uh, here's another Shabad by the uh, Pats. The uh, po po uh, poets of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, right at the end of Guru Granth Sahib Ji, and they basically go through the ages and they say how um, in um, Kal Jug, uh, you know, in this age, as Guru Nanak Ji, Guru Angad Ji, Guru Amar Das Ji, uh, they're talking up to that point, um, you have come to save us. Previously, you had come as Krishan. Previously, you'd come, in, so that was in Dwapar, the age of Dwapar. Previously, Tretata Manyo, Ram Raghavan Skaha, you'd come as a Ram Chandar. And then Sat Jug, the, the uh, first age, you had come in the form of, they write a dwarf, but they, um, as a short Brahman, you had come to um, trick Bal, Bal Raja, who had become a sort of an egotistic king at that time. Uh, so this is where Guru Granth Sahib Ji talks about these figures. So anything else you know, that we talked about is from Guru Granth Sahib Ji, it's not from anywhere, anywhere else. Um, whether we talk about, um, remember these figures are going to be from various different um, backgrounds, cultures, different faiths. Um, but they're all mentioned in Guru Granth Sahib Ji and so we have to make the efforts to learn who they are so that when we read Gurbani and we, we, this Pankti comes up Sadhujyogatayamarnyo Chalyo Bal Bhavan Payo we have to know who Bal was we have to know who Bhavan was otherwise how will we understand that, that Pankti okay so uh, next week it is Pagat Ambarik so Ambarik Pagat um, that will be next week and uh, we'll go through these every week and these key figures of Guru Granth Sahib Ji and hopefully when they pop up in Gurbani we will be able to understand the Pankti and the, um, the Gurbani because you know who they're talking about and the context behind it so if there's any questions you can um, you can message the musket MSK to trust um, Instagram we can answer them by next week possibly um, I don't know if anyone has any questions here I missed them if I did so I'm sorry um, but yeah we'll, we'll rejoin next week um, so there's more lives as well through the week, so make sure you don't you don't miss out on those. Um, yeah, there's, there's some good ones this week. Um, there's a post as well, a uh, previous post where there's all of the week's lives in one post where you can check up on um, what's going on this week. Um, but I'll be back next Tuesday at 7.30. Bye, Guruji Takhalsa. Bye, Guruji Kibata.